video is to discuss the B-17 Flying Fortress's uh, fuel system. So we'll use a schematic to uh, aid in our discussion, and then we'll look at some of the tabular data. Uh, since the airplane is symmetrical about its center line, we're only going to look at engine number one and engine number two. Through similarity, we can see that the systems apply to engine three and under engine number four uh, identically. So fuel tanks come in three flavors. You have dedicated fuel tanks, you have feeder tanks, and then you have uh, tanks that can go in the bomb bay. The bomb bay tanks are sometimes called aux auxiliary tanks. So let's take a look at engine number one. Recall that the engines are Wright Cyclone 1820-97 engines. They're air-cooled, radial, and they produce 1,200 horsepower each. Each engine will consume about 50 gallons of fuel per hour in normal cruise. And we talked about in previous videos, normal cruise on the B-17 is at you know, 24 to 30,000 feet. Uh, at a airspeed, a true airspeed of about 240 miles an hour. So we're sucking down and we're drawing down 50 gallons per hour in each one of these engines. So engine number one has a dedicated tank and it's this one right here. That's 425 gallons. So only this tank can bring fuel to engine number one. So as you draw down the fuel, in this particular tank, it needs to be refilled before the fuel can get into engine number one. And the, the tanks that are going to fill this, this dedicated tank are called feeder tanks. And the feeder tank for engine number one are these five, uh, we call them Tokyo tanks. They're, there's five of them because we actually have wing ribs that are, that are uh, you know, structural components that are between these tanks. So uh, the term Tokyo tank is a little bit of a misnomer because the B-17s never dropped a bomb over, uh, you know, Japanese homeland. But back in the day, maybe they weren't aware of that and the name stuck. So we call these Tokyo tanks. So again, you just draw the fuel down. So this 425 gallons after about, you know, eight hours, we'll be down to 25 gallons. Then we're going to take this 270 gallons, transfer it to this tank and then from this tank we can go directly into engine number one. The fuel transfer system was uh, operated by the flight engineer, the top turret gunner. If we take a look at engine number two, because of the structural arrangement of the, the, the wing box, uh, engine number two is going to have a smaller dedicated tank and it's this one. That's 213 gallons. So after about four hours you're going to be down to 13 gallons and what we're going to do is we're going to transfer from uh, two sources. We can transfer from engine number two feeder tank, which is 212 gallons, you know, about four hours of, of flying time for that engine. Or we could go to these uh, four feeder tanks in the uh, outboard section of the wing. And this fuel will go directly into dedicated tank number two. Now in the bomb bay, if we're conducting what's called a ferry flight, a long distance flight, you know, non-combat, uh, that Bombay cavity can be filled by these bladders, these, uh, these fuel tanks, which are 410 gallons each. And we can draw on those directly into the dedicated tank if needed. These tanks are actually droppable. So you can uh, put them, clip them in into the, uh, the bomb rack shackles and that can provide uh, extra fuel if you're conducting a long range flight, uh, usually, you know, obviously not, not in combat. All of the fuel tanks are self-sealing. Uh, they can take some battle damage and not leak. I will talk about self-sealing fuel tanks in the next video. So if we, uh, fuel pressure 12 to 16 PSI, is a pressure head running the fuel system. If we take a look at the uh, tabular data, uh, we have the port side and starboard side. So we have the tanks labeled uh, depending on their position, which engine that they, uh, they can support, either the dedicated tanks or the feeder tanks, and then what the capacity of that fuel tank is in gallons. Notice that the density of gasoline, this is 100 octane fuel, is 6.1 pounds per gallon. So you can do a, a, a weight, um, uh, build up if, if that was needed. So if you fill every single tank on the B-17, 
uh, you will come up with 3,600 gallons total. Now, if you take out these uh, Bombay tanks, so the combat load of fuel, so we fill everything but the um, tanks in the Bombay, we're at 2,780 gallons. That's the maximum fuel capacity of the Boeing B-17. Uh, if you have any additional questions on the fuel system, uh, let me know in the comments section. And if you have any additional topics, I've got a whole bunch of topics in the queue. Uh, I just have to uh, make videos. Uh, let me know and I'll see if I can um, uh, accommodate you.